I'm Noelle, the host of Pop Punk and Pizza, and today I'm joined by Jacob from Free the Witness. How are you? Hey, I'm good. Nice meeting you. Cool. Nice meeting you, too. So first off, um, what is your role in the band? Like, what instrument do you play? Well, recently we just got a second guitarist, so I am no longer playing rhythm guitar. I am just singing. So. Yeah, I saw that on Instagram. You got a new member, uh, Mike LaRose, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's really, really, really good. So cool. So can you talk about how that kind of came about, like how you found him? So we like for like the past couple of years, we've actually been like looking for a second guitarist. Mm -hmm. And um finding members is harder than it seems. Yeah. So um we just happened we we recently just did a gig with Teenage Bottle Rocket. Yeah. And um before that gig, we wanted to get back into the swing of things because we hadn't played in nine months. Mm -hmm. And so we booked this this gig up in Kearney, New Jersey, just yeah. at this like just at this like dive bar just to like kind of get warmed up a bit. Mm -hmm. And um, we were sound checking and we I, well, I personally heard him playing Sweet Child Mind Solo. <laughs> oh really uh during the sound check i was just like wow this guy can actually play it yeah and most people i mean some people can like play it but they'll like butcher it but like yeah. i was like this guy's good i gotta get this guy so yeah well awesome that's exciting and um yeah so can you also talk about your show with teenage bottle rocket and uh tightwire at house of independence in new jersey because i actually interviewed tightwire recently so that's cool <laughs> So yeah, Tightwire, they were also on that on the bill with Teenage Bottle Rocket. And mm -hmm. they were really, really nice people. Um, for us not playing in a while, um, I, I was very nervous. And yeah. Especially because we got on a on a bill that was that big. And they came in and they were like super welcoming to us. They were really nice. And we showed them around um Asbury Park. Oh, cool. Yeah, like we showed them like the carousel, Stone Pony. Yeah. Uh, and we had a really nice time with them. So it was, they made the show like one of our favorite experiences. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's good to hear. And you're releasing your second album called Youth of Tomorrow soon, which is exciting. And what is the main inspiration behind this album? Like what inspired you to write it? Um, I'm really into like history and World War II. Oh really? And yeah, so like during like during like the Trump era, we mm -hmm. would, like I wrote a lot of like current I wrote about a bunch of like current like things that were like upsetting me and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of that stuff is very um oversaturated now in the music industry. I'm yeah. all about it being like spoken about and people raising their voices. Mm -hmm. But um I wanted to write the new material based around like the the beginning of like all that like crappy shit you know what mm -hmm. I mean like like the start of fascism and stuff like that so yeah like, that's kind of what drew the inspiration okay that's I interesting yeah yeah cool and how did the process of writing this album differ than writing your first album I think this was more of a collective group 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 effort. I mean, I still wrote the core songs and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but with the last one, it was very much like I wrote the songs out and like everything was finished. Yeah, and then people threw in like something here and there. Was like this one, we like kind of like I brought the idea to the table, and then we like we uh, polished it as as mm -hmm. a group collectively. So that was that was a that was nice. Because it yeah. took away from my, uh, I feel like it allowed more creativity to come forward. Yeah, cool. And what artists or bands inspire or influence your songwriting? My favorite band's Bad Religion, but okay, I'd say yeah, they're like my all-time favorites. But I'd say like recently, I'd probably go with um, 
the offspring has been like a huge mm-hmm. inspiration. Yeah, I saw them in concert recently. They're really awesome. Like their yeah, whole I, production and everything is really cool. I I don't think that our record would have sounded the way it does if and I'm I'm sure you checked out our recent single Youth of Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um there's a lot of offspring elements to it. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I don't think this record would have sounded the way it does if I went to see them at the Stone Pony back in of last year. Mm-hmm. They were really, really tight. Yeah. And so I like felt this rabbit hole of like listening to like their not popular stuff. Yeah. And they have like a lot of cool songs. Mm-hmm. So they've been my biggest influence recently. Cool. Probably them and the Bouncing Souls. Yeah. I can definitely hear those influences. And what is your favorite song on the new album right now? Uh, <laughs> ooh. Mm, probably, I, I'd probably say uh, Soldier, Soldier. Okay. Yeah, it's one we're releasing in like on October 2nd. So I think in a week and a half, we're cool. releasing it. I look forward to hearing it. It's just favorite... like lighthearted and fun. Yeah. What's your favorite song to play live? Uh, in the trenches. <laughs> That's going to be our third single release. Okay, cool. I don't know. There's something about that song that's just like super, super fun. I, I like the way we like start the song and then go into it. It's very, um, a cool rhythm to it. Yeah, cool. And you've opened for some of my favorite bands like Rise Against, Descendants, Some 41. So how was it like opening for them? I mean, to be honest with you, we like, so for those bands specifically, we did like either before or after show at the Stone Pony as a park. So didn't really get the chance to meet guys. Okay. Uh, to the most involved we were was with uh, Punk and Drublik. Okay. And that's when we opened for Descendants, Face to Face, and No Effects. Mm-hmm. And that was a cool experience. Yeah. But but you got to, like, I, I don't know. You got to, <laughs> like, be careful not to, like, uh, I don't want to let any tour managers or anything upset or anything. So we just keep our distance, do our sound check, play. And, right. Like, if they decide <laughs> to come to us, so be it. But yeah. if not, then that's Right. yeah but that's so awesome though that you did that um yeah but, yeah and what is your uh favorite venue or show that you've played at so far my favorite show that was probably the book one that which, was like which one that was a dream the when we played punk and drop like okay yeah, that nice. that playing on that festival festival was like a dream come true, um, and there were like a lot of people and we played a good set, so like you can't really complain with that, right? Yeah, cool. I'd say the Teenage Bottle Rocket is up there with with one of my favorites too. That was just a really fun night. Nice. And are there any guitars or gear that you particularly liked using on the album or for live shows? I like to keep it simple, Marshalls, Pauls, with this record, Pete Stein called it. Okay. Um, and so he got some really good, good tones on the record, and he he combined um, my guitarist Chris, he plays mm-hmm. a Fender Strat, and then I forget what amp he uses, but it's a Fender amp as well, and yeah. so we combined that with my Les Paul Junior with a Marshall and okay. I think it, I think it was a JCM I, I can't remember I'm not a huge gearhead but yeah yeah so we combined the we combined a Strat and Les Paul sound and like it got like a really cool sound that we liked cool so yeah it's always interesting to hear what different artists use to make their music I think it's cool we just we try to keep it straightforward pretty simple <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah for sure and Youth of Tomorrow was produced by Pete of the Bouncing Souls, which is awesome. How did you get in contact with him and start working with him? So 
I actually heard the Bouncing Souls and was a fan of them for a while before mm-hmm. I even met him. Um, yeah. Like, probably I'd say, like, three or four years, like, before I even, like, met the guy. I was listening to him and was a big fan of them. Yeah. I ended up moving down to the Asbury Park area, and I was changing tattoo artists, and mm-hmm. somebody told me, they were just like, oh, Brian Keeneland from the Bouncing Souls, their bass player. He uh he does tattoos like right down the street if you need a new tattoo. Oh really? So it's just like, well, that's really awesome. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm gonna, I have a I have a bad religion tattoo done by him. Oh nice, right that's cool. Um, and I'm gonna like get a tattoo by him. And at the time we were recording our record Deliverance, um, that we just put up on all platforms again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we, I, I was recording Deliverance at the time. I went to go get, get a tattoo and I was telling Brian about it while he was tattooing me. And I was just like, yeah, we haven't gotten to the mixing phase yet. He's just like, well, my guitarist, Pete, he uh, he works with some bands. I can like give you his number, send mm-hmm. your stuff. And if he, you know, if he likes your stuff, then like, you know, he'll move forward and work with you. Yeah. So that was about two years ago when I did that. And then he, so he mixed our record deliverance and we had a really good time mixing the record together. And he, he was just like, Hey, you should come to my studio in little Eden and mm-hmm. we should just bang out like a few songs and, you know, I'll, I'll produce a record and whatnot. And so, yeah, that's how that happened. That's awesome. That's a cool story. Making connections. Yeah. <laughs> And since this is a pop punk and pizza podcast, I always have to ask, what's your favorite kind of pizza? Oh, I'm a plain Jane. I yeah. just like pepperoni. Is that is that most of the answers that you get? Yeah, a lot of the times people are just like, just plain pizza. Some people even just say like, just cheese pizza. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you from, you're from the Chicago area, right? Yeah. So I'm assuming your answer is probably deep dish. Uh, I really like deep dish, but honestly, I would say thin crust is my favorite, though. Thin crust is good. A Domino's thin crust is surprisingly good. Really? Which is almost like... I don't have it that often, so I don't really remember <laughs> what it's it, like. That's but... almost... That's probably the worst thing I could say in New Jersey, in the tri-state area. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's that Domino's pizza is really good. Um, there's a place right around the corner for me called Vic's. Yeah. And that place is really good pizza. Cool. So. <laughs> and if you could collaborate with any artist or band, who would you choose? Like, it doesn't matter how like big or famous. No, just any um, band. Probably my. No, nah, I'm just not up to their level. They're too good. They're too good <laughs> I'd say it would just be a dream to work with the guys from Bad Religion. Um, yeah if i could collaborate with somebody and i know that this might be my plan at some point um eventually i thought maybe for our third record i might want us to um go to room uh, mm-hmm. out in um colorado and okay. have bill Ste- have bill stevenson produce us that would be cool yeah awesome because he's done a lot of records that i really like yeah and is there a specific message that you intend to get across to people when they listen to the new album? Or is it like more something for yourselves? Um, well, yeah, with this new record, I think um, normally I think my answer would be like, I, I'd be trying to get like some like political statement across or something like that. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, I guess just look at our roots. Remember your past, you know. Yeah. It, it's it just baffles me that you know so much shit repeats itself and it keeps happening and like like it it, it blew my mind that like like all those years with during the trump era like how like people were just blindly following this guy mm-hmm. and, um yeah and just you know being told that like the media is the problem and and guaranteed there's like a lot of things wrong with it but like yeah but like, don't trust the media. Like, if you read 1984, like these th- these things yeah. are like, <laughs> right? It's... Like, it, 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 
the tra- translation to like real life is just like how you know how can you not like see the comparisons mm-hmm. it's right in front of your eyes so i think with this record really just like dial back the years and look at look at the start of it and it's still going on yeah <laughs> so cool i look forward to hearing the new album it sounds like it's going to be an awesome one and uh do you have any upcoming shows yeah we're in the process of booking a lot the the goal is to probably book out for like the next six months just get all our ducks in a row so we don't have to worry about it yeah um i know that we're in talks of a record release show okay and we have our next venue gig is going to be at dingbats and clifton but that's going to be with our the lead singer of the dictators i don't know if you've heard of them i haven't but i will definitely check them out now that you mentioned them <laughs> uh, but yeah and then like i'd say the biggest one that we're gonna prep for is our record release show okay we're gonna, we're gonna probably have that really be super intimate small space party vibes you know cool. hang out with friends and just have a good time yeah sounds fun yeah awesome well, is there anything else you'd like to plug or mention before we go, like social media or anything like that? No, just keep streaming Youth of Tomorrow. The whole record drops December 9th. Uh, okay. Our next single drops October 2nd. Soldier Soldier is going to be streaming everywhere. And uh, yeah, we're really, I don't know, we're really excited for this record. Give us a follow yeah. on Instagram, Spotify, Free the Witness. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. I'm sorry I didn't have yeah, a piece of, of pizza, but <laughs> no, that's okay. I didn't have pizza with me either. <laughs> I was yeah, I, I ran across the street and I went to the pizzeria and it was closed. Yeah. I wanted oh, to no. eat a slice of pizza while we <laughs> chatted, but yeah. Oh well, oh, well maybe <laughs> next time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was sure. nice meeting you. You too. Thanks for taking nice the time to talk. Yeah. Have a good one. All right, you too, Noel. Bye. Hey, hello, it's nice to meet you. Hey, come in and have a slice of pizza.